All right, step one. This is my first time doing a vlogging type thing outside in the real world. Can you see my phone in my glasses, can you? Hmm, maybe I shouldn't wear some that are reflective like mirrors. That being said, I'm gonna go into Walmart real quick and get a little tripod that I've seen that holds phones because I'm actually using my phone for this because I think it looks pretty good. I was looking at vlogging cameras and I was like, you know, the ones with little flip screen. I have a digital SLR, but I don't want to like walk around with that giant thing like, hey, everybody. I saw a little vlogging camera thing at Best Buy that had like little flip screen, a little Sony point and shoot, which looks pretty cool, but it's also $345. And since this looks almost as good, probably doesn't sound as good, but I think we'll get through with it. And if you like these types of things, maybe we'll get more cooler cameras later. Let's go find tripod. By the way, not sponsored by Walmart or anything. They just have everything, so. You've got to be kidding me. I think one of these right here is the thing I need, and they don't have any. It's like it's like a selfie stick, you know. It has the little clip for the phone, but it's a tripod, not a stupid selfie stick. To the next Walmart. Now see, I wanted my first step to be the tripod because there's no way I'm gonna get a good driving shot while, you know, w without a tripod. But here we go. <laughs> Ready for, <laughs> it's gonna be great. Eh, that wasn't the worst thing ever, but it could be better. New Walmart, and Anthony, oh, why are you parked so far back in the parking lot? Because, be Oh, figures. Today I don't have my little Fitbit step counter on, but hey, I'm trying not to be fat, so I park in back, I gotta walk further to the store. It makes sense, it's the little tricks, it's the little things that count. So of course, it wasn't in the camera section, but it was in the phone section. Look, it even has a little remote. This thing's awesome. Figures it was the very last one they had, so step one complete. I must say, this is an immensely awesome tool because I bet you think I'm holding the phone right now, but I'm not. So I can totally do things like this and this, and I can be over here and over here, and all because of a tiny little tripod. It's so cute. I love it. Step one, finish. Step two, eh. Ooh, look at this tripod. Mmm, driving camera. <laughs> I think I've decided step two is going to be nourishment. Good news, I have noms. <laughs> Not bad. My God, what a beautiful hot summer day. All right, we're going into Lowe's. We're buying materials to build an anti-tank grenade in Building Battlefield. That's what today's thing is called, Building Battlefield. I'm pretty sure I already said that in the intro shot at my house, which I'm actually shooting later, but I have a plan, I think. But if I didn't, we're building Battlefield. And the first thing I want to do is anti-tank gun. I also want to, or not anti-tank gun, I want to do anti-tank gun, but that seems like a big project to tackle right off the bat. So let's start with anti-tank grenade. We need a wooden stick, we need a bunch of grenade things, some metal wire, and all that stuff. We'll find it. Okay, step one, I'm thinking wood. So I'm, I'm thinking maybe, you know like you put on a, on, a, on a deck, those posts or on a railing for a staircase? That might work. That might work for the post of the grenade. I also just realized I said out loud to build the grenade. If anybody overheard me, they don't understand that's a prop. Basically today I'm building a bomb, but not really, it's a pretend. I think I'm gonna get in trouble. Okay, close, but these are really expensive. There's gotta be like cheap shitty ones that aren't all nice and painted. Maybe the home and garden section.
No, 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 no. These are all too big. What is this even? Expect me to make a fence out of this. My God. Well, outside has yielded me absolutely nothing, except for now I'm sweaty and hot and, I wouldn't say miserable, but I'm not happy about it. Home improvement stores haven't changed in like 24 years. I'm 24. I bet 100 years from now, everything's still gonna look identically the same. I remember running around these places as a child, just playing with random brooms or whatever. And it's all the same. Okay, I asked the guy, there's nothing else. So we're going with the expensive banister. I only need this part here and this part down here. And I'm gonna cut off all this other fancy stuff I'm paying $7 for, but you know, whatever. The next part, we have the pole. I need little rubber caps that will cover the ends because that's part of the design. I didn't make it. They made it in the 1918. Honestly, this whole grenade just seems like a grenade from World War I that they strapped a whole bunch of other grenades to and then threw it at tanks. It's not very technical. Okay, we got the caps. I got a cart now. And the next thing we need is, actually I thought of something. I could get a, you know those things you tighten? They're like the metal straps and you turn a little screw and it tightens. My chair at home is broken and I think I can fix it with one of those. I'm not joking, it was actually 20 minutes until I found this little ring, what is it called? stainless steel clamp all for a detour this isn't even part of the video next thing we need is those tubes that go around it and they all kind of look like like uh, tiki torches like the little tops of these but I don't want to buy seven tiki torches so we'll find an alternative It's amazing how many things can be made out of PVC pipe. I think every project I've ever done or built, I've always used PVC in it somewhere. Anti-tank gun is gonna be mainly PVC, if I make it. Okay, I think I figured it out. I got two two-foot pipe things and I'll cut them. I need a saw and I'll cut them into bits and then cap them with these. And then where's the other part? Cap them with these and those will be our little little green parts on, on this, this, there you go. All right, what's left? We just gotta paint it. Oh my God. Okay, you saw that build. There is no way this video makes money, all right? I'm in the hole now for $58 towards this grenade thing. So make sure you share this video with everyone you know, and we need to get this to at least, you know, 10 million views. So that way I can build the next thing because I'm straight in debt now. I'm, it's, it's done, man, it's done. Oh, I've fallen. Always bring your cart back to the corral. Don't be a dick. So what was that, the end of step three? So we're on to step four, which is making it. But there's a lot of little steps in step four. So really step four is just getting home. I can do that. Oh wait, no, there's one more thing. Um, they didn't have wire at Lowe's, at least not wire you can bend to wrap around all the grenade, around the grenades. So arts and crafts store, that's where my mom used to buy that shit. And now I am. So hopefully this project turns out pretty cool. I want to use it in like video making and stuff. I think my next video I'm going to use it as an intro or it might have already came out and this is like kind of a behind the scenes thing. I just want to build some stuff from Battlefield and make them 
so I can use them as props. Because if you guys don't know, I love doing After Effects stuff like uh, uh, Freddy W back in the day. That's why I learned editing and After Effects because I loved all the crazy effects he did. So I want to start incorporating that kind of stuff into the normal videos about games and gameplay and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, so hopefully you guys like this kind of stuff. Oh, we're going. We're going. Driving. False start. They only let four cars through the red light and then we all stopped again. So anyways, yeah. I want to start making stuff. I want to build this anti-tank grenade, and if you guys like this video, I want to do a whole video about building the anti-tank rifle. I think with a bunch of PVC pipes, I can connect everything together, and uh, oop, moving forward a couple inches, here we go. Oh, yay! I think I want to make a whole bunch of PVC pipes and actually have a door that opens and I can load something in. Maybe I should turn it into straight up a potato gun. Oh my God, where are they? Where are they? I know they're here somewhere. Where are they? Where are they? Where? <gasps> there they are. There'd always be, yep, there we go. When I was younger, I always used to come here and there'd always be a few on the bottom. And I'd be like, mommy, can I play with these? And she'd let me play with them. I gotta be quiet in here. This place is so much quieter. Shh, wait, is this exactly what I was looking for already? Oh, wow, it was right next to it. Just some wire. Okay, I got stuff now. Home, and we're here. All right, the car looks like it's smiling at me. Look how happy the car is. Aww. Oh my God, there is the craziest spider out here right now, guys. Look at this thing. Who wants to touch it? Who wants to touch it? Okay, remember earlier at Lowe's when I said I have a thing I could fix with the, the metal? thing. This is it. The DX Racer Chair, which is supposed to be like the godsend of all chairs. It's it's really good, except for the arms. The, this arm has lasted, but this one... I've tried to tape it a whole bunch. That doesn't work. So let's try and shove this metal thing in here and see what happens. Awesome! <laughs> okay, step one, I think I'm gonna sand all the PVC pipe down. That way, when I paint it, it can actually, you know, accept paint. Because PVC is not really good at getting paint on it. I mean, other than this paint, but it doesn't stick usually. But they said, if people said online, if you sand it, then it sticks. So, let's do that. Yep, do with this image whatever you will. But, uh, yeah. Why didn't I start this project in the winter? This would have been a great time. Summer? No. Also gotta get the little pieces, the little caps and nubs and stuff. Now we'll cut each of these into sections. So the hard part's out of the way. We cut the PVC pipes. They're not perfect, but they're gonna be covered by these little caps. And this is what's gonna be our grenades on the big grenade, but the big grenade's just a bunch of little grenades. So I figured we have this piece of PVC pipe, put this little cap on here, and that creates that shape. And then we have these little covers that go on the bottom. And there you go, you have a little grenade, which then we're gonna paint green, put around this stick, which I need to cut, and tape them around this. And then we have like a big anti-tank grenade. There's seven of them. There's seven of these things. Let's put let's put seven together. Let's go. Now for the wooden pole, I figure I'm just going to use the same saw. It'll it'll work. I know it's not the right saw, guys. I'm sorry, but I wasn't going to buy two just for a wooden pole. Maybe next time. Well, that was easier. 
At least this one has a line. Oh look, it looks like a little baseball bat. Ow. You see this? You guys don't see this. Look, I'll tilt it up. Oh, there he goes. There's a dragonfly on my saw. You can see that. What a waste of a banister. Guys, if you want if anyone can use these these parts of a banister, uh, leave a comment below and I'll send it to you in the mail. You have to pay shipping. Okay, we got wood. We got this. The caps are supposed to, let's see if it fits perfectly. No. Not at all. Gah! I'm not really sure if we're gonna be able to finish this today. I, I don't think we are. I'm, we've made some headway. We've got those bits done. I found a Twizzler, by the way. So I was hoping to get this all done in one day, but it doesn't look like it. I gotta head out of here soon to go to dinner and then stream tonight because it's Friday. Hey, check out my Twitch if you guys don't hang out every Friday and Sunday now because Battlefield Friends is over. Hey. Anyways, I think I'll pick up again tomorrow. We'll paint them, we'll put it all together, and we'll have a prop together and hopefully finish it. I was supposed to take one day. It looks like it's gonna take two, but that's okay. And jump cut to tomorrow. Okay, guys, mini crisis averted. It's day two, and right now I'm currently holding my phone flat against a wireless charger while recording this because my phone's charging port broke. Of course, the day I'm gonna start using my phone for recording purposes, uh, it goes and breaks. So now, I'm gonna buy a wireless charger. I mean, I have this really cheap one I bought, but there's no way I can make it through. Like, this was a Chinese knockoff one just to test out the whole, the whole charging thing. Gotta go check out one of those, then we're back to work. But mini crisis averted. Day two is starting a bit late though, unfortunately. Yeah. All right, I've got a little bit of a charge. Let's go spray paint some things and then put it back on. Okay, day two is finally starting at uh, 5.30 in the afternoon. Great start, thank you phone, but uh, let's spray paint. Hot out. All right, 10 minutes on those, second coat. Oh wait, I forgot the black. Black, black things, little caps. My God, back in the AC, it's hot. 10 minutes on those, we'll be right back. Okay, it's actually been 19 minutes. I was recording the script for the video that I'm actually using the grenade in. So there's the voice over it. Let's go put the second coat on. Those guys need to dry another 10 minutes. It'll probably be 30. I hope the sun doesn't go down before I finish. Oh, I'm so hot and sweaty. <laughs> you are actually drooling. I'm looking. Game Grumps is interesting. Okay, I have watched Game Grumps. I have recorded footage of tanks that I'm going to use in the video. I think I'm gonna put myself over here going like, it's fucking tanks. It's a fucking tank. You'll see in the video. Go watch the full video. Uh, here. It's a fucking tank. There we go. But uh, let's go check the spray. All right, there's a few places that can use a little touch up, like right here and wherever on a couple of the other ones. I'm going to spray them. Unfortunately, the sun's going down, so the next time you see me, I'll be inside putting all this stuff together. All right, so here we are inside. All the things have pretty much dried, I believe. We got all these things here. So here is what we are calling grenades. These are the grenade things, which kind of look like it when you turn them upside down. We have our stick, which I have cut a tiny bit shorter than last time because it just turned out to be too long. Adhesive, little black cap things if I decide to use them. I think I only need one now. And some wire and some putty. And we're gonna make this thing figure out how it works. So the basic idea is, you know, you have this thing, you shove this in it, and there you go. I mean, there you go. Basically, World War One type grenade is the idea, at least. Uh, now we gotta figure out how to get one, I mean, the, the grenade, if you look at it, it really isn't a marvel of engineering. It's just a grenade with a bunch of other grenades stuck to it. I gotta stick it on here.
here's my plan. This stuff is the stuff you usually use when you're hanging up a poster, but maybe if I, I gunk up the hole with it. I didn't think very much about the mounting method. Okay, here's my idea. Uh, this, you know, there's usually craft foam, that green stuff you can shove things in. Well, this is for a TV. Your screen go black? There we go. Uh, <laughs> This, this is for a TV, so I think if I use the styrofoam from this, I could put that in there. That'll work. Bread cutting knife. Oh, geez. Okay, well that happened. The cap came right out of the bottom. Not the world's smartest idea. Hmm. I don't know if spraying that even helps. It might be like a chemical reaction that completely neutralizes the putty, but this might start working. We'll have this base on here, and then inside there'll be even more. So here we go. This is not as, not as strong as I was hoping. Hmm, this might all fall apart. This is by no stretch of the imagination a comprehensive guide on how to do this stuff. Uh, it's just my bullshitting attempt to do so. So, don't take this as a t tutorial. Ah! Kids, don't do as I do. It's very dangerous. It's a very dangerous job. All right, here's my idea. We putty around the center now. If I could put the foam in like that around the edges, it'll hold it more in position. Well, that's actually, <laughs> already doing that is already like comfortably solid. So there you go, like that's the basics of one World War One grenade, is that not? I mean, there it is. Ha, ah, you throw it, it explodes, everybody goes boom. I thought about dirty, dirtying these things up, but you know what, hey, when they were first made, I'm sure they were clean. I'm sure they were clean at first. Grenades can't get that dirty, right? Because all they do, it's not like they age very well. You throw them, they explode, it's not like they carry on with life, I don't know. But hey, that's already kind of cool. I'm putting the glue around the base here, or not the glue, the putty, just around it. So that'll like really make it good, I hope. I'm kind of surprised how solid this feels, given what it is. As you can see, I've just gunked around the edges there, and it already feels pretty solid. Now the question is, will it hold the rest of it? One can only hope. Maybe I should go up the base of this a little bit. The shaft, maybe I should go up the shaft a little bit. Figures, I just found like three of these things in my garage that totally look like what I was going for. But there's a quick adjustment I wanna to make to this. At, while that's all setting, I'm going to paint this top part black to kind of more match the picture here where that part's black. Yeah, okay, this is stuck. I've painted the bottom of this black so it kind of more matches the picture, kind of. As I said, this isn't gonna be perfect. It's, you, it's for quick little skits I'm doing, whatever. Uh, and now, let's put all the others onto this as well. Another point I'd like to make is, I didn't look up anything on how to make something like this, or obviously I didn't look it up, but I think that's part of the adventure, is figuring it out on my own, having this design, kind of seeing what you know I can come up with. I'm using poster hanging goop. I'm sure there's a better goop for it, but I decided to pick that up. I'm, I'm, I'm experimenting, I'm learning. What's the fun in just doing something everyone else saw? That's a tutorial. This is an adventure. I'm actually really happy how this is kind of coming together. Okay, it's sticking. Look at this thing. I gotta make it more secure, 
but the fact that it even did that is pretty awesome. So I guess at this point we can wrap the wire around a bunch of times, make it super tight, pull it in, and it'll probably stay. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> Actually like holding this in my hand, look at this. Does this not look badass? This is kind of it. This is kind of what I was going for. Look at this thing. Like in my hand it feels like Battlefield 1 grenade. It literally looks like it. Like, like I know it's not dirty. What I could do is take some, some dirt to it, make it a little grimy. You know what? I didn't put the cap on yet. Cap. Cap. This shit is badass. So yeah, I guess that was step three. Build the thing. I built a thing. There it is. So step four is use it in like a movie skit or something. You know what I used? I'm going to use it in the intro to the tank video that I shot during this. So here, I'm going to play that clip now. Hopefully that was awesome. I don't know right now, but yeah, guys, holy shit. I'm actually kind of happy at how well this turned out. I think it looks kind of cool. Um, <laughs> guys, leave a comment below. Let me know if you enjoyed a video like this with me building something, going out and doing the whole thing. I thought it might be fun. I wanted to try shooting it. We just finished up Battlefield Friends season five. I had a tiny, tiny bit of spare time. So I was like, you know what? This is the moment I'm gonna shoot it. Cause I've been wanting to do this for a while. If you guys like this, I want to do an anti-tank rifle. And that one would require like a nice paint job kind of and to be roughed up and like really look metallic and metal. And honestly, we'll go back to this one and maybe really paint this and kind of get it all all dirtied up because that would that would be the finishing touch to this. But hey, let me know in the comment section below if you guys want more stuff like this. And also, what do you think I could use this for? What could I use this for? Is there any other ideas? Because now I have it. I'm going to put it back here on this shelf and it's going to like sit over here and be a little World War One Battlefield One prop. But right now, <laughs> oh my God. Like, I feel like I'm playing the game. First person, ah, tank comes in, you throw it. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and yeah, I'm gonna go kill some tanks or something. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> <laughs>